Systems, Smart Card Market Systems is an industry leader in specialized industry e-commerce, cloud and mobility marketplaces and applications delivering white label and private label solutions to the global pay, pay tech, fintech and blockchain markets. Thank you, appreciate it. <clears throat> the intro is done, I should skip over. Uh, I'm Max Baroni, uh, people know me as Max. I'm CEO of SmartCard, uh, 26 years in the payment business, so uh, a lot of scars and trophies uh, along the way. I'm a three-time public company uh, starter. Uh, about decoding SmartCard, why decoding? Today the complexity of uh, payments uh, has gone far and beyond. Uh, and we're not considered a payment company, we're considered a pay tech. Why? Because we actually have core technology that basically makes us uh, acquire agnostic. We have a payment switch and we'll go into a little bit of discussion about our digital banking solutions. So a little bit about, uh, about us. Uh, we've got $4 million invested capital, $10 million paid up capital. We've got 22, uh, plat uh, 22 platforms that are proprietary to the company in the uh, platforms as a service and platform payments as a service in, uh, market se uh, segment. We've got 60 embedded partners already established in the utilities, everything from biometrics uh, to, to uh, digital ID systems, and, and all incorporated in our system. We've got 65 global collaborative financial uh, sponsors around the world. So that means we can connect uh, any bank or corporate customer in any originating of our 65 countries. It makes us one of the largest widespread cross-border companies in the market. This is our tombstone of, of platforms, as you can see. Uh, caters to a very large variety of markets. We're industry agnostic and we're payments agnostic. So basically, we can white label the solutions to financial institutions, governments. We can cater to multitude of industries, including airline for in-flight, uh, banking systems for launching real-time payments, multi-tenant currency systems for companies or large telecoms that want to launch an ecosystem or some form of association that wants to launch a marketplace with a mobile wallet and MPOS system that's integrated. The future is clear. We're a multi-industry enabler. All our platforms are developed on a multi-tenant environment. What this means is that um, multiple payment systems in one system, a bank who may have a portfolio of merchants that they want to launch, they can basically launch the whole ecosystem with their own payment system or incorporate other payment systems from outside vendors or participating uh, suppliers. So this is what we actually look like when you break down our DNA. These are all our platforms as an integrated suite of operations uh, from generosity, a multi-wallet system with all the bells and whistles for retail with Beacon technology, soft pass, M wallet, marketplace, loyalty. We also have our own card switch for emulating card issuance. Axpay is our cross-border company. Uh, Check21 for banks with the required Check21 software as a hosted service. Xpay is our TMS switch. Now, for those who don't know what a TMS switch is, basically it's a complete payment switch that allows you to launch payments for e-commerce, mobile payments, uh, RFID, uh, even terminal applications, and so forth. So we're really a one-stop shop environment. We do also have our own AI, which I'll get into. So industry highlights, SMKG hits several marks from key leaders like CEO Michael Maybach, where they discuss all the key factors of digital tokenization, to PwC about artificial intelligence, Western Union, and key remarks from uh, Kathy Wood, Marina from ARC, about super wallets. So what is it all saying? The whole digital economy that's coming forward is completely different from the past. Uh, legacy is struggling, but at SmartCard, we help financial institutions do the conversions from legacy to a uh, digital ecosystem. Blockchain, as you know, is a new monster. Uh, it's fighting its space for, with AI, but combined, uh, blockchain is going to be uh, a, a growth rate of CAGR of 85.7%. It's estimated to be a two, three trillion dollar market by 2032. SmartCard has a portfolio of blockchain technology for NFT, uh, issuing digital asset tokens. We have some projects underway in various countries. Problem statement. 
And if you know payments, you know that the complexity and structure, architecture, and wireframe regarding payments is complex. It is actually an irony. Payments are universal, yet each country requires its own setup, its own certification by bank, by development factor, creates a whole hurdle. Then this whole product has to come mainstream into their client environment, which becomes even more complex. So we basically equip the client to have a acquire agnostic relationship with their financial institution. Basically, it's about value, time, and reach. That's what we propose at SmartCard, what our platforms as a service, easily white label, embedded infrastructure, and if we need to, we basically extend our services into integrating with banks, uh, specifically for the client. Accelerating industries, uh, whether it's banks, the digital realm, retail and events, education, or transit, our 22 platforms feature uh, very specific utilities and protocols that are very specific for business cases across multiple industries, including uh, current banking 4.0 and payments 3.0, which have lifted the bar. Now, why this important? I've seen a lot of pitches in the last two days, have been fantastic. I think we should all hurdle together and make one big super hub <laughs> of a payment solution. Um, but what's really happened, and I've been hearing the VCs, is the price to entry has changed. The startup value has changed. That means walking into the technology business has completely changed. You see it from the battles with the SEC in the US to the banking structures that are coming. And if you don't have a compliant or method stra uh, methodological strategy to enter the market, with a structure that is certified, which the bar has been entirely lifted, and we may see many startups not be able to exceed. This is our trophy case uh, for smart card. Uh, we own a, a majority part of AxPay and the platform entirely. AxPay, we have a 7% int uh, minority interest in the Philippines. Um, we're a payment facilitator in the Philippines, which means we have a PEF license with the largest telecom company there and the investment firm KKR. Companies currently evaluated at 40 million. Uh, we have uh, tons of projects going on at a rate of installation of about 65 merchants a week. Originator X is our digital asset program. We're currently doing one of the largest digital gold token mines in British Columbia, Canada. And one of our exciting acquisitions, we acquired a Bots Life, which is a chatbot AI CRM, which we're using for digital onboarding for banks. So this is our... How, how do we compare ourselves and what do we look like in the market to people? We're not JP Morgan, we're not SoftBank, but we are a mix of the two. We can do exactly everything but sponsor a customer as JP Morgan. We have a technology portfolio that stretches theirs in any aspect from acquiring, issuing, to wealth management, so we can make a small bank into a big bank. Uh, SoftBank, as you know, one of the largest investment firms in the world, we basically have a portfolio that pairs up with theirs, except for elements like robotics or energy sustainability, which we try not to touch. Autonomous vehicles, maybe, who knows, one day. So we made a significant partnership with one of the largest companies in the world called LTI Mindtree. Some of you may know them. Um, Larson Tubin, one of the largest engineering firms in the world in India, bought Mindtree in the US. It created a 94,000 team uh, staffing team partnership worldwide. They're the, one of the highly skilled in the banking sector, I think uh, ranked fifth, and basically they took on SmartCard. So we have a teaming agreement. They're one of the largest integrators in the world to banks. They're now selling our software. SmartCard was announced as their primary payment company for skill and collaboration and services of our suite to their customers. Uh, we're currently working with our blue ribbon customers that include uh, American Red Cross, MSC Direct, Curry's out of London, uh, Australian Transit Authority, and so forth. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, just, I'll just end it off. Uh, yeah, that's, so uh, just to talk about, as you see, <laughs> we're now amongst the giants, also we are the smallest. Uh, last, I'll just jump over. Basically, uh, we're doing a $10 million raise. Uh, last, our last funding evaluation was at $20 million. Uh, Basically, we're a public company, for those who don't know. We did our qualifying S1. We were one of the first companies in January 30 to be qualified with blockchain and crypto right in the midst of the great collapse. <laughs> so we were very fortunate that S1 has carried us through. 
Uh, and basically, uh, this is our presentation, and if you have any questions, be more than glad to uh, assist. Thank you, Massimo.